The companions told us about the Haya of the Prophet Sallallahu Abu Sayyid Khudri he said, Kan and Nabi Sallam, Ashad the Haya and Min al Azra'i fi Khidriya. Prophet Allah used to be more modest than the virgin when she is inside her room. And that's the virgin at that time. The virgin at that time, she's so shy. She would not be going out except if it is a necessity. Um, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, not only he was modest, but he also commanded the companions, commanded the believers, commanded his ummah to also, also inherit and embrace this uh, uh, character, this manner, which is the haya. First of all, he had said that this is the manner which Islam is distinguished with. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is in khuluqa. For every religion, there is a distinguished manner. وَخُلُقُوا الْإِسْلَامِ الْحَيَاءِ And the distinguished religion and the distinguished manner of this religion of Islam is modesty. For every religion is a distinguished religion, a distinguished manner. But the distinguished manner of this religion, which is Islam, is the حَيَاءِ الْحَيَاءُ مِنَ الْإِيمَانِ الْحَيَاءُ مِنَ الْإِيمَانِ Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says الْحَيَاءُ وَسَبْعُونَ شُعْرًا Iman is to be 70 plus branches. The highest of that branches is La ilaha illallah, the kalim. Somebody's talking behind, we just are uh, inviting, inshallah, to come and be in Allah, join us instead of talking there and disturbing the class. So the highest of that is saying the kalim, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. And the, the lowest of that in the branches of Imam is to remo remove the obstacles from the path of the people. And he says, Al Haya, but the Haya also is a branch of Iman. Prophet of Allah, in this, he had actually gave three examples of the branches of Iman. One example to do with the Kalima, which is to do with the saints. And another example, which is removing the obstacles from the path of the people, and that's to do with the actions. And then he gave the Haya as a branch of Iman, which is to do with the heart, the actions of the heart. So he talked about the tongue. He talked about the action of the limbs, and he also talked about the action of the heart, of the heart which is the hair has in the heart. So, the Allah ibn Umar, also he said that the Prophet ﷺ, he passed by a man from the Ansar, and he was telling off his brother regarding the hair, why are you shy? Why are people taking your things? Why you find people taking your you know, things and you're not saying anything? Because you're shy, you can't do anything. So why are you are so shy, you should be more courageous and all of that. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, leave him. For verily, Al-Haya'u min al-Iman. Haya is part of the Iman. Not only that, he said, Al-Haya'u wal-Iman qurana'u jami'a. Haya, modesty, and Iman, they are stuck together. They are with one another, synchronizes with each other, all the way. He said, jami'a. فَإِذَا ذَهَبَ أَحَدُهُمَا one of them to be removed, the other will be removed. So if you remove the iman, you remove the modesty. If you remove the modesty, the hayat, you will remove the iman. Also, the Prophet ﷺ, he said, From the first thing that the people had acknowledged regarding the sayings of the prophets in the past and the previous, that they have learned it, it became a parable, and that is, if you're not shy, if you're not modest, then do what you like. That means the person who has no shame, he will do whatever he likes. But the person who has modesty, he will not do what he likes. He will do what satisfies his law. He will do what is suitable. He will not do anything. So this is actually a slap on the person who has no consideration. The person who is inconsiderate, you give him that hadith. I can't tell you what to do. And I can't tell you not to do that because it's really bad. Because if you're not having any modesty, you will not be shy to do that bad thing. Also, Prophet Sallallahu he said to us that the haya is a manner which Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala loves. And it's a beautification uh, to uh, adorn the person who is having this manner of haya. Prophet Sallallahu he said, Inna Allah hayiyun. Sittirun yuhibbu al-haya'a wa sitr or wa satr. Inna Allah hayiyun. Sittir, Allah is hayi, modest. Sittir, and he covers. You know, he does not disclose and cover things. 
expose people. قال قال ستير يحب الحياة. He loves modesty and was satr and also to cover, uh, to cover. Also, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the Hadith, فَإِذَا اغْتَسَلَ أَحَدُكُمْ فَلْيَسْتَتِرْ One of you is to have a wash. I mean, people can see him. And let him make sure that he would hide himself. He would not expose himself with people because he's our. So, of course, if you have your toilet locked up, no problem. You could have yourself naked and having a shower. But if you are having a you know, shower in a place where you could be exposed to the eyes of the people, then make sure that you are covering as much as you want, as much as you can. And also the Prophet ﷺ, he said, Verily, All the time when there is modesty, this will beautify the thing. And nakedness and nudity and all of that, it will make things bad. Al-Ashadju ibn Qais. He came to the Prophet ﷺ. And the Prophet of Allah, he saw him and he said to him, Verily, there are two characteristics in you which Allah loves. He said to him, Al-Hilmu wal haya Modesty and forbearing. Or hilm could be sedation, prudence as well. Al-Haya kulluhu khaya. Prophet ﷺ said, Haya, all of it is to be good. Al-Haya la yati illa bi khaya. Haya does not bring except for good. The scholars have divided the haya is in two categories. Haya min Allah, modesty with Allah, and modesty with the people. Modesty with the people can be seen as follows. When you see the child, he is having haya from his father. When you see the wife, she's having haya from her husband. When you see the ignorant, having haya from the scholar. When you see the person who is young, having haya from the person who's old. When you see the person who is, for example, a student having haya from his teacher. The women in general, having haya from the men in general. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes one of the daughters of that old man in the story of Musa alayhi salam, the one he was in Madian. So Allah is going to be described in Surah Al-Qasas. So he says, One of the two girls, the daughters of that old man, she came, walking with modesty. She's shy. She's not really walking like a man, walking like she's showing herself. Okay? And then she said, She said, In Abi, buddy, my father, Yaduruka Liajziaka Ajara Masaqi. He is calling you, he wants you to come so that he could recompense you for what you have done for us, because he had actually given them the water amongst the men. Now Musa Ali Salam in the story also he went. There is a I think tab here, an Adan, Fadal. Continue from uh, the story of Musa alayhi salam when that daughter of that old man, one of the two daughters, she told him that my father wants you to come to him in order that he would recompense you and give you, uh, you know, what you have done to us. Um, so she came to him in a modest way 
And also when she left, she left behind him. He was in the front. Some of the stories they say in the exegetes and the interpreters of the interpretation of the Quran, that the woman she was sending, or, or, or you could, she was uh, throwing stones to show him which way to turn left or right, because he was in front of her. But you know, we don't have to go as far as that. She could talk to him, but it's always the man will go forward and the woman will be behind. The woman she should not be in front of the man, as you know. Uh, the also the from the haya is that person we know that the woman when she is a virgin she is modest not to disclose her approval to her father or her family if a potential husband comes. So the Prophet وسلم, he said that simatu uh, ridaha that is her silence is approval. Now that is, of course, at that time, these days, even the virgins, because of what the life had made them to come to terms with coming to work and going out and studying and, and, and mixing and all of that, we don't have that modesty at all. And the most beautiful thing that you find in a woman is her modesty. Regardless of how beautiful she is, if she starts looking like a man, that beauty of hers drops down straight away. The man has got no interest in her. But the woman, if she has her modesty and shyness, and as soon as she talks uh, to talk to her, she, you'll, she'll dissolve in her uh, modesty. That's the woman that you want. That's the woman that you're after. Because she's shy even to put her eyes into your eye. But actually, these days, the woman, she stirs at the man, and the man is putting his eyes down. SubhanAllah. Allah must Um Al-Haya, second category, is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Haya umin Allah. Allah ibn Mas'ud, he says that the Prophet sallam, he said to us, "Istahyu min Allahi haqq al Have the proper modesty from the Almighty Subhanahu wa Taala. He said, "Messenger of Allah, we do have modesty. Alhamdulillah, we have modesty." So the Prophet he said, "It is not that what I intend, but the haya, the modesty that I am talking about, is to preserve the head and whatever is in it, and to preserve the belly and whatever is in it." and to remember the death and the crisis, and he who wants the akhirah, he would leave aside and abandon the beautification of the dunya. He who does so, then he has the proper modesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we're gonna explain this hadith, but look at the time, what time is the prayer? In two minutes. So we will come back inshallah, and we can explain this hadith. This hadith is actually the core of our class. What does it mean when the Prophet he said, All of these we're going to describe them word for word and explain the hadith of the Prophet and also he who had you know, came to the akhirah and he abandoned the, the dunya, then the beautification of the dunya, then he had done the proper hayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we just tell you, shall to go and Take your position in the prayer of Allah.